Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Startup Islam, and thank you for watching this video. So this video um, is all about what changes um, in 2024 Meta has offered and what are a few things which have helped me um, in terms of advertising and getting more leads and more conversions and um, how to use multiple ad sets and ads. Uh, what are some new features while running the multiple ads uh, and the multiple ad sets and uh, what sort of different options can help you achieve your goals in a better way. Now the thing is, um, I always suggest to run multiple ads and ad sets because when Meta is giving you the opportunity um, to show different sort of ad ads within one budget to your audience, then why not avail it? So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a business account. If you don't have a business account, I will uh, paste the link down there in the description section so you can uh, you sh you know how to make a business account or to create a business account and also to run these sort of ads you need to have a pixel installed um, if you do not have a Facebook pixel which now is used as uh, the term is used as data set when you create a pixel it automatically converts into a data set and the conversion API if you don't have that there's another video on that i'll paste the video in the link so you can um create that as well because if you do not have the data set or the pixel installed on your website or the conversion api the advertising you're running is pointless or you will not receive the sort of results uh, you require the other thing which is very important is you need to run lead generation traffic ads landing page views ads in order to achieve the conversion ads you need to give a lot of data and you need to narrow down your um, audience in terms of gaining more results so the first thing you need to do after you have done all the previous steps is go to your ads manager now within app ads manager uh, you'll see different things um campaigns ad set and ads in order to run a campaign uh, you need to click on the create button and from here you need to click on sales sales was previously known as purchases so i believe it has changed for the uh, most of the ad accounts initially in some ad accounts it was shown as purchases in some it was shown as sales but now i believe it's shown as sales you can see here the goals uh, it's good for conversions catalog ads and things like that so our aim is to get more sales and we will click on sales advantage plus shopping campaign is something where facebook runs your ad on their own um you don't have to do much um I always go for the manual because I have more control and I know how, because I've been running an ad for business from some time now so I know what works what not so I always go for the manual one as well so this is basically you are creating a campaign and within campaign we will be creating different ad sets and then we'll be also creating a few ads it's recommended to create at least three ad sets and at least five ads not more than that because you'll be exhausting a lot of budget even though facebook says that your budget is utilized on those artworks or those ads or ad sets which perform better but even then um, i suggest not to run more than five ads or three ad sets now what is the difference between ad sets and ads ad sets are basically you are targeting different audiences within one campaign one one could be the lookalike the other could be the retargeting the other could be the open audience or you use uh, using different behaviors or interests and ads are the different artworks for instance it's a carousel it's a single image it's a collection ad and things like that now over here um, if you have a special category uh, then you can go for uh, that unfortunately my pc is going to be restarted but let's see if it doesn't so advantage campaign budget if you switch the advantage campaign budget 
if you switch this on and you have multiple ad sets that means if you have a budget of say five dollar so the facebook will distribute five dollars you will be spending five dollars each on a different ad set but if it's switched off you'll only be spending five dollars for the whole campaign so that means your budget will be utilized for five ads and three ad sets but if you switch it on then you'll be spending fifteen dollars instead of um five dollars you can switch this on and you can assign the individual budget to the campaigns as well and i usually switch it off because i use a certain budget and i let facebook decide which works better and i keep on changing the ads and um things like that so the next thing this is a new thing reporting which facebook has introduced define your ad accounts audience segments I still haven't worked on it, so I will leave this as it is for now. So there is something which I missed over here was the goal auction. It sales and from here it says retarget ads to people who interact with the products on facebook so this is basically retargeting and this is basically finding the new uh, people and this should be changed if i switch the catalog off from here so if you use a catalog um it's your catalog ad will be shown and different options will be shown instead of you choosing the images on your own so if you want facebook to decide what sort of product or what sort of catalogs you can show to people then you switch it on but in order to create a catalog you need to have your shopify uh, with your wordpress you need to have a commerce manager account and need to create a product set as well and you can also define different product sets within a catalog I have done a video on that as well and I'll put the link for that as well. Right, so from here, my goal is maximum number of conversions. My goal is to land people to my website and maximum number of conversions. And this is what I was talking about. This is the pixel. It's inactive because I don't, don't use this account. So this is the data set. You need to choose the pixel, whatever is um, integrated with the website and you use the most. And conversion event should always be purchased if you're selling the products or services. Ignore this. This shouldn't be shown on your uh, Meta account, ad account, because your pixel should be integrated or should be working because mine's not, that's why it's shown. If it's shown on your ads account, that means there is something wrong and you need to fix that. So this is the dynamic creative i also keep it off uh, because it adds a few things to the artworks i design my own artworks so i prefer not to use uh, not i don't let facebook play around with my uh, formats or the ads so this is the budget uh, you can assign the budget depending on the advertising budget you have allocated for yourself and from here, these are the audience controls. You can choose different countries. And this is advantage plus audience. Audience suggestions. Custom audience means if you have any previous audience, for instance, you've created lookalike audiences or you have created retargeting audiences, you can choose that. If you don't, then you need to um, come up with a new audience. Uh, detail targeting means where you can choose the interests, behaviors, and things like that. Gender, age. So you can specify this according to the product or the service you're selling and you can save the audience for later on. You don't have to go through the uh, creating the audiences again and again. Either you can do this from here or you can go to the audiences from here and you can create the audiences as well. Right. So placement, I always let Facebook decide the placements. I do not play around with that. Um, other than that, let's just click on next. So this is basically so far the main campaign this is the ad set this we have kept open for now and this is the new sales artwork which we are going to create 
so these are the pages for facebook and instagram and manual upload now this is something new which has which facebook has introduced you can choose the flexible one and you don't have to specify the carousel collection or single image ads and facebook will show people the format which they are more likely to respond to i have used that and i have gained a lot of uh, orders from this as well so in some cases it works in some cases it doesn't so it totally depends what sort of products or services you're selling and eventually you'll know and you can obviously change that later on as well so it's very simple um, this is another new thing which is uh, meta introduced ad source if you want a certain image uh, or a certain uh, artwork shown which is already on a website you can put the source link and automatically it will um, take the uh, image from there as well now in terms of adding images for flexible you can choose up to 10 different artworks like a carousel and it will be automatically shown to people in a format which they respond more to. now primary text headline it's totally depending on the product and services or the things you're offering i prefer headline and description to be more precise for instance if there is any sale if there is any offering free delivery or things like that you can put it here destination i always recommend and i always use the landing page where it's it shouldn't be a product it should be a collection page it's a complete user experience let people land to a collection where similar other products are available so if they're coming up for a pen they can also shop for a eraser or a sharpener so at least the, you know uh, they know uh, they can see more products and their shopping uh, experience can be um, b the main aim is to sell so it's always better to show more products than lending them to a single image it's the call to action should always be shop now or order now but if you are um, offering any service then you can go for sign up as well this is again because my pixel is not installed and it's simple just click on publish from here now in order to create another one you need to come here on the ads simply duplicate the ads from here keep the original campaign number of copies should be two more because i need at least two more campaigns so you can change the name of the ads as well so it's important for you to identify which one are you selling uh, which one is which and which one is this for instance you can keep it open audience sorry this is the ads so this could be the flexible one and this could be a carousel so you can simply choose carousel from here and insert the image cards or insert the video cards um, 10 images similarly if you don't want to use the images you can also use the videos if you have 10 different videos you can use that as well and similarly just put the primary text here it will not give you the option for the description or the uh, headline because it's a carousel and from here you can simply choose the shop now button and simply use the pixel you're using and run the ad and you can publish it from here now the third one could be a collection ad or a single video ad now how to run a collection ad there's a separate video on that how to use the instant experience form how to put in your products i'll keep the leave the link in the description and uh, similarly you can choose single image or a video facebook i always suggest to run a small 15 to 20 seconds video you get some good results uh, when you run a video ad as well so single image or video and add image and you can change or redesign um, your artworks or the ads according to the recommendations given here i always as i said i always design my artworks so i design according to the three different sizes 
it has given so use the text use the headline the description call to action should always be shop now and the website url which we have discussed this is the instance experience that's the form i was talking about there's a separate video on that and from here choose the data set and just click on publish so this is how you duplicate the ads now from here you need to duplicate quick duplicate the original campaign number of copies two and you can duplicate the ad sets so the first ad set was the open audience all you need to do in this one is from here change the audience either choose the demographics or whatever you want to choose or you can choose the custom audience how to create a lookalike audience just create on custom lookalike audience or custom audience lookalike audience use the uh, source which should be the pixel that you use uh, while running the ads for instance the beer data set and from here choose the website and you can choose the purchase and for up to 10 percent I suggest to keep it till 5% and create the lookalike audience for you. Uh, for that, you need to have a lot of data already. Then you'll be able to create a lookalike audience. Same is the case uh, for the retargeting as well. So this is this also a separate video on how to create a lookalike or the retargeting audiences as well. So from here, uh, you can simply change the date, sorry, the, the time and you choose a different audience from here and you just simply click on publish similarly the third one you have now basically according to my video one audience is open what one is the uh, lookalike audience and the third should be could be any interests for instance from here just click on this and you can write insta ads or things like that instagram business profile admins repair and services and you can create a customized audience as per the needs and then simply click on publish so this way so basically in five dollars you're running three different ad sets and three different ads you can duplicate these ads to at least five for instance there's one flexible one single image one carousel one could be video and one could be the collection ad and facebook will automatically allocate now how to create an optimum um, Facebook funnel. So if you think that your ads running and you think this ad set is giving you more um, orders and this ad set is just spending the budget and it's not giving you any results, you can simply delete this one or switch it off. But if you think all the ad sets are working, but this certain single image or this carousel or this flexible is not giving you the ads. So within this ad set, you can eventually delete this ad as well at least give it three to five days let facebook run the ads keep on um, noticing and keep on um, you know monitoring your results and then do these steps uh, of deleting or switching off or changing the artworks for that but give it at least three to five days so these are new some features and this is how you run multiple ads and ad sets for conversion ads and purchases uh, on Meta. If there are any further questions, you can leave, uh, you can email me or you can write in the comment section or WhatsApp me and I will uh, accordingly respond to that. And if someone needs any sort of consultancy with running the ads uh, within Pakistan, in Urdu or India or Bangladesh, I am available on WhatsApp. You guys can leave me a, uh, leave me a message and I will accordingly. Uh, reply to that thank you for watching the video uh, for more details please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you can you'll be notified when 